Ernest and Celestine is a 2012 documentary casting a spotlight on corruption and exploitation in the dental industry. Within this film, we see depicted the devious machinations of power as the candy stores collaborate with denture retail and a wild race to boost mutual profits within their cartel, portrayed as them literally being wed together. It's a damning expose on how Big Teeth exploits our health for their own cynical gain. Okay, no, but for real, Ernest and Celestine is adorable. The 2012 movie is based off the books by Gabrielle Vincent, which was the pen name of Belgian illustrator Monique Martin. Her series featured the eponymous characters just going about their day-to-day -day business pretty quietly. Conflicts revolve around finding Celestine's lost toy or raising money to fix their leaky roof. The film's plotline has a little more to it than that. The world of Ernest and Celestine is reimagined into two worlds, with bear civilization living above ground and mouse civilization living below ground. Both peoples fear and hate the other. Celestine is an intern tasked with collecting teeth, which, funny enough, is apparently how the Tooth Fairy legend goes in a lot of countries, including France where the movie was produced. I didn't know that, that's pretty cool I think. Anyways, Celestine's mission goes poorly one night, and she's found by Ernest, and you can probably see where this is going. She and Ernest go through a lot of wacky hijinks and misadventures, but at the end of the day, they help bears and mice realize that they can get along, and people who are different from you aren't scary, you know, the usual shtick. I guess if there's anything I'd criticize about this movie, it's that the message, while a good message, is a bit general and cliched. But at the same time, criticizing this movie is like chastising a puppy giving you the big ol' eyes. It just can't help but feel a little bit like a monster. And the broad general nature of its theme works just fine for younger viewers, so I don't get that fussed about it. Ernest and Celestine are, as you might expect, the heart of this movie. Ernest is a miserly grown man down on his luck, trying to make ends meet as a less than successful street musician. Celestine, meanwhile, has a bright, youthful personality, feisty and a tad naive all at once. Both of them come across as incredibly endearing, and their dynamic is at turns both humorous and heartfelt. Their friendship is the main support for this film's story, and it's very strong. What really sells this movie, though, are the intersection of two visions. Directing duo Stéphane Aubier and Vincent Petard had made a splash a few years before with their stop-motion film A Town Called Panic, and their kind of comedic stylings can be seen in this film. Lots of subtle comedic moments add levity to the story, and the more upfront slapstick helps keep things light and peppy. Aubier and Petard are joined by Benjamin Renner, a comic artist whom I believe really brought the art style here. You can see a similar animation style with his later movie, The Big Bad Fox. And this style is what I think really makes Ernest and Celestine stand out. The watercolor backgrounds and the faded corners make it look like a storybook. The way the characters are drawn, the way they move and emote add to that sense. It just adds a very warm and comforting atmosphere to the events that unfold. Overall, Ernest and Celestine is just incredibly endearing and heartwarming. If you're looking for something family-friendly and heartfelt and gentle, and check out this little film about how a bear and a mouse really can become best friends.